Hey, what's going on, guys? All right, huge, huge, huge news today. All right, so for a couple of months now, it was rumored that Brian Michael Bendis would be writing the main Superman books when he came over to DC, right? Got a little bit of hint of that in Action Comics number 1000. That was announced, and I made a video about that, you know, his trunks coming back. And so it was assumed, okay, so that's what he's going to be doing. No, it's actually bigger than that, which kind of makes sense because, you know, this is Bendis. He's going to have, you know, he's going to, he's not going to do anything small. You know what I'm saying? By the way, this is actually the second time I'm recording this video. The first one, it was good, but there was, I, I just got additional information that I was like, eh, let me just redo this again, you know, and I got show notes here, you know? So yeah, he's going to be taking over both books, Superman and Action Comics starting in the summer. Things kick off. In a little preview thing that's i think it's called dc nation right but the big big thing that's gonna happen right now as you can see here is gonna kick off with man of steel right it's gonna be a six issue mini series where he pretty much establishes the new continuity or not the new continuity the, the new direction for superman he plans to introduce a new villain and just pretty much shake up the world of superman again bendis he does these type of things, right? So, uh, let me look at my notes here. So, yeah, the current team of Dan Jurgens on Action Comics number, uh, on Action Comics, and Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason over on Superman, they're, you know, they're going to end their 10 years, and Brandis is going to take over both of them. Now, here's the thing. You're thinking, okay, so he's writing both Superman books. What's the point of that? So, they're going to be different. Superman... It's going to focus more on the action stuff that you're used to seeing. You know, Superman, you know, kicking butt, going to other worlds, whatever, right? Action comics, you know, despite the name, is going to focus more on Clark Kent, Metropolis, Daily Planet, that sort of stuff, and how the world views Superman. So very interesting, but, you know, I think Bendis is equipped to handle that sort of stuff, right? Um, he plans, you know, he's going to bring changes to the line, introduce a new villain that supposedly tied in with superman's origin his birthright and he's going to introduce a bunch of other new characters which is you know pretty good he, he wants to add to the stories and the thing i was worried about was because i really like action comics and superman the way they are right now right so i was worried like oh man is he gonna just throw the baby out with the bathwater because you know if you know bendis he kind of doesn't really adhere to what has gone before he kind of just does his own thing right but he said that he's going to just add to what those guys have been doing, which is good because, you know, again, it, it was good work that was coming out of there. So it would have sucked if Ben is like, fuck it, I'm just going to do my own thing. But he's not going to do his own thing. I mean, he's going to do his own thing, obviously, but he's not going to take away what's been established. So he's going to obviously have Superman in there, Lois Lane, John, you know, all that. That's going to be good. So it's, it's, uh, he won't reboot anything. OK, so this is the other thing I want to talk about. Very interesting. The, the trajectory he's taking right now, very similar, if not outright the same as John Byrne, right? John Byrne, just like Bendis, became a household name over at Marvel Comics, right? He leaves Marvel Comics, he comes over to DC, what does he start off with? Six issue Man of Steel series, right? Before jumping on to Superman in Action Comics, Bendis is doing the exact same thing. The only difference is... Bendis isn't rebooting anything. John Byrne, he pretty much started establishing the post-crisis on Infinite Earths world of Superman, right? Bendis not doing that. He's he's starting off where the other guys left off, right? But it's the same type of trajectory, which is really, really interesting, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. This one was a little bit shorter than the other one because I was kind of rambling on another one. But huge news it, the expected of Bendis that he was going to do something big there. He's going to be handling the biggest character in DC and the biggest character in comics so yeah man i hope he does a good job there I, again i know bendis could play a little loose with continuity but considering dc is already a little bit loose with continuity anyway he shouldn't you know for the lack of a better term he shouldn't damage too many things you know what i'm saying it's gonna be interesting man a lot of fun so yeah it kicks off in may and then the the comics um superman and action comics are gonna get taken over by him in july so Stay tuned for that, man. I'll certainly let you know what I think about them. All right. So I'm going to do it for this video, man. I'll see you next time. Peace out.